When, did you hear about the passing of Emmanuel Stewart? Does it, yeah, does it kind of does it kind of make? I mean, you I don't want nobody. I don't want nobody to pass, but I know we all have to. Yeah. But uh, I mean, as far as uh, Emmanuel, I mean, he was a he was a good guy. I mean, he he made a contribution to the boxing world. He had a lot. He had a tremendous a lot of champions. Yeah. You know, what yeah, do you think of Thomas Hearns? He's pretty solid fighter. Oh, yeah. Tommy Hearns. Yeah, Tommy Hearns. Yeah, Hill McKenzie. He had Dwayne Thomas. Yeah, I, I know pretty much most of the guys that he had. I, I, I know because I used to train down at his gym every now and then. Because you always said the best fighters come from the Midwest, right? Yeah, so I, I know he, he had a lot of them. He had a lot of, he had a lot of, he had a lot of champions as well. What was your favorite like era of boxing, or maybe your favorite time like the fight? era? The era of, of boxing it was good in the eighties, in the early eighties, in the early eighties. I'm just talking about in the early eighties. They put more competition together in the early eighties, and then in the seventies, it was a good era. And then and another good era of boxing was before I actually came here. Mm -hmm. As actually before I came to the world, and then the days like in the in the uh, uh, 15 and 60 when Ray Robinson and Joe Lewis were fighting like that. Didn't you say before Ray Robinson is, in your opinion, the best ever? Or he is. Why do you feel that way? Because he has the best record. He has the best record. He beat everything out there. He was 170 and one. You know any fighter got to have a record like that? No. Well, he's the best fighter then. And once he won, he the first guy ever win seven world titles. What about Floyd, your nephew? Where where does he rank? Floyd, Floyd ranks amongst the great fighters. Mm -hmm. I mean, but uh, I mean, Floyd gift the boxing. I mean, you, you got to understand. Floyd gift the boxing. If, if, if you look at the world of boxing, Floyd gift the boxing is just like pretty much like Ray Robinson. Ray Robinson never went to the Olympics, but he never lost an amateur fight. He was 89 and 0. Will it be bittersweet for you when your nephew walks away from boxing? Will you kind of miss the days of training him and being there for his fight? Oh yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I miss it, but I mean, you got, you got, you got that's why you got to, you got to find another fighter. I mean, that's what most people do. I mean, if if a, if a fighter, uh, 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 my nephew don't. I know his career going to come to an end eventually anyway. Yeah. But uh but when but when his career comes to an end, I mean my thing is I train fighters, so I know how to train, so that's what the key is. So when you, you got to find you got to find another one. When you were a, a a fighter, did you always knew the transition of being a trainer was something that was going to happen for you? Yep, because I, I know I was training kids when I was a kid, so I, I, I knew all about really about boxing then, and I trained a bunch of fighters alone. Even though I had a professional career, I still was training fighters. I trained Leigh Lali, Juan Guzman, Hasim Rockman, Vernon Ford. I trained all them guys when I was still boxing. Yeah. So it's not a big thing to me to make a transition to boxing mm -hmm. from a trainer. And I mean, I mean, I like to train fighters. So. You always say that, you know, people, most people don't know shit about boxing. They don't. What, what do you mean to elaborate? They just don't know the history of most the sport? Most people don't know shit about boxing. They don't know about boxing skills, period. They know nothing about boxing skills. They don't know nothing about catching punches, rolling punches, slipping punches. They don't know. I mean, most of them. All I can tell you is where the greatest fighters come from. And where the greatest fighters come from, they'll show you boxing. If they bring their ass down here in the Midwest, they'll see. Coming to from the Midwest to Las Vegas, did you do you what part of Las Vegas do you like as far as boxing? Do you appreciate being out here for boxing? Oh, I'm, I, I mean, I, Las Vegas gave me Las Vegas gave me a chance, to, chance to accomplish my goal. I come out here. I came out here. 81, 83, I was champion of the world. I mean, I, I went through, I mean, it's not a big thing. I, I accomplished my goal. When I came out here, it took me 15 months from the time that I started boxing here to win the world title. Really? 
15 months. January, January the 6th. January 16th, boom, I was world champion. What was that moment like when you won a championship? Like, oh, I mean, it ain't nothing gonna be like something that you you imagine mm -hmm. because, and remember, I, I didn't have that many fights when I fought for the title. But my thing is that uh, I come, I, I come out here with an ambition. I come out here with a dream that I was going to do and God blessed me and I did it. And I've been out here pretty much ever since because I already knew I already knew about boxing, how to train fighters. I already knew that anyway when I came when I came out here. But that's probably pretty much why I probably stayed. Because I knew about boxing. I knew about boxing. I knew how to train fighters. I, I knew I was different things about fighters. And that's probably why I stayed out.